This is Bayfront Park at the end of Marsh Road, about 30 miles north of where I live in San Jose. And I think this is the park, and then there's a big trail that probably connects to the Bayshore Trail that we looked at from Mountain View a few weeks back. But I'm going to try the park itself first. Beth Essex, a friend from church, recommended this as one of her favorite uh, places to walk. And uh, she's been hiking for years, so is much more knowledgeable about the trails than I am. I'm now on the perimeter trail for the park. And it's not very long, maybe only a mile and a half. I just checked the map, but I've already forgotten. But I know it was not uh, even two miles. And there are also some trails over the hills, which I want to try too. But I guess I'll at least go on the other side of the perimeter before taking one of the hill trails. Very modern buildings over there. Beyond them is a bridge across the bay. I think it's called the San Mateo Bridge. Here's a public sign in a public park in which Spanish is the first language. Well, this was the first language in California, but what I stopped for was the five million tons of trash, which is what this park is built on. <laughs> I had guessed that before I got to the sign, but wasn't sure, but uh, this confirms it. You are standing on the former Marsh Road Sanitary Landfill. It was a landfill through 1984. So that confirms what I said about Palo Alto when we were doing the Bayshore Trail a couple weeks back. Ah, here's a map. It's a brisk 56 degrees this afternoon. Last night was about as cold a night as I've ever experienced in San Jose. But it's looking much better now. Yet another trail leading up to the hill of trash, as it were. And now the peripheral trail itself is taking quite uh, an incline. Now from the top of that incline, it looks like I can see a lone houseboat over there in that pond. I guess that's what you would call that, a pond, percolation pond maybe. because it has not du no direct access to the bay itself, as far as I can see. For some reason, the picture was very blurred on my previous take, so I'm taking a second one here. This is the first 
view of the lake of the bay itself. And it smells like muddy water here. And not only did I get a late start, my battery was already halfway down when I began. I hoped that it was would charge more as I was driving up here, but uh, still wasn't very high, so I might not get very many pictures today. No sign of what the, this plant is, but it looks to me like a small water treatment, sanitation type water treatment plant, sewage treatment in other words. I worked for the largest uh, water treatment plant for the city of Los Angeles about 11 years ago, so I have some experience with that. Thus far we've been on the north side of this little park, and now we're coming around the east side. Of course the bay is to the east of the park. And over there is the Dumbarton Bridge, which I pointed out from another direction several weeks ago. We're now north of it, whereas we were at south of it before. And I don't know if it's showing up on the screen or not, but there's a mountain, uh, look, uh, what looks like a man-made mountain, probably a trash mountain too, on the other side, probably serving the city of Fremont. southeast corner of Bayfront Park, this being the south rail. And up there are some signs probably indicating things to see from that list point. Way over there is a blimp. I had seen that at Moffett Field when I was passing it on the freeway and hoped I would get some visuals of it. So I'm going to stop now and go to close-up view. And as quickly as it took me to switch the viewfinder, the blimp made a complete turn and is now going in the other direction already. Can't tell how well it shows up in the picture. If at all. <laughs> Over there is Menlo Park and beyond that Palo Alto. We're probably about the same distance from Palo Alto now as we were from the Bay Shore or the Shoreline rather, Shoreline Trail three weeks ago. I would guess that the blimp is now over, or at least close to the Stanford campus. And here's an intersection of a trail going up the hill. And since I said I would go up the hill from the south side, this is where I'm going to do it. A couple of large geese in the center of the picture there. And here's another trail cutting back towards the east shore. And it's kind of surprising how big these trees are since 1984, but uh, most of them seem to be eucalyptus, which grows very fast. Back to the wide-angle view now, and it's quite a vista from here at this elevation. It was uh, an easy slope coming up, and it turned back to the west, 
shortly after I said that it was cutting toward the east. <laughs> so now I'm considerably farther west than I was when I said that. And it looks like I'm coming into a major intersection of uh, trails on the top of this park. And how to choose which way to go. Since the park is fairly small, I guess it doesn't matter which way I go. I can go one way and then go back. Not very crowded, of course, on such a cool day. Interesting, there's a little marshland right here on top of the park. I don't know what this tree is that's in blossom. It's a rather pungent smell. Similar to something I smelled <laughs> in my childhood days, but I can't remember what it was then either. That uh, blimp is moving quickly for a blimp. It's now over Moffett Field again. I can see one of the big hangars at Moffett Field with a naked eye, probably not showing up in the picture. Probably the blimp is not showing up either. And it looks like the blimp is descending. Almost looks like the space shuttle <laughs> to the naked eye. Blimp rides around this area are around $600 or more. I looked it up. And since you see the blimps quite often on weekdays, there must be a lot of rich people <laughs> able to afford that. My battery is dead, but I have arrived at the pictures. Show you what's going on. So here I will end the tour. I'm in the car with the phone camera plugged in. So I'm sorry to cut this hike short, but it was short and sweet. Nice views today with lots of blue sky some fluffy white clouds. And it's now 5 o'clock. <laughs>